Welcome to Make It. My name is Paul. And I'm Brooke. And we're really excited because each week we're bringing some amazing guests that are illustrators, artists, designers. We have fantastic pro tips. Super cool. And this week we are welcoming Rob Jenneret III, a.k.a. Rob Zilla, a.k.a. Vector Art Monster. Yeah, sounds scary, but he's like the nicest guy ever. So let's do this, huh? Let's go for right it. Right on. <laughs> In. So you may or may not have noticed this large spinning colorful wheel in the background. I've it's not seen spinning that. yet. So we have a challenge for you if you're up for it. Let's go. Uh, we want to spin the wheel three times and you do a mashup of the three items. Let's do, Let's do this. I'm always Come working. on. Skulls, skulls, skull, skull. Popsicle. 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 I'm actually representing uh, <laughs> a Rob. Original illustration. All right. Oh. You want to spin? Work it, work it. Skull. That was very strong, right? Skull. Ooh, bats. Bats. Ooh, that's All fun. Right. Hey, that's going to be fun. Popsicle. Bats. bats. I'm going to just reach right over here and Arr. give it a little tap as well for our third one. Oh, that would have been cool. Wow. Oh, that would have been cool. Oh, that would have been cool. Shoe. 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 Hmm. Okay, you go. You want to pick a new one? I'm I'm looking at your eyes. Yeah. Popsicle skull. <laughs> Do you what want it? To... Let's let's uh, let's let's throw skull in there. Okay, popsicle skull and what? Bats. Bats. Yep. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, Halloween. Again, delight. I like that contrast of skull, mm -hmm. popsicle, bats. Yeah. Works. So first of all, maybe tell us a little bit. You are drawing in Adobe Illustrator Draw. Yes, Adobe Illustrator Draw, vector drawing application. I love it. It's my playground. Oh, and cool. um, yeah, I'm gonna get busy on here today. Yeah, we're just awesome. gonna. Put you to work and so how long have you been drawing you? on the iPad? I mean, I feel like that's kind of a that's something that a lot of people are doing more and more of. Uh, about five years now. Um, you're OG. Yeah, super OG. <laughs> now you're also you know part of your day job. I, I feel like you have like a bunch of day jobs, but you're also a teacher. Yes. Um, what's it like trying to balance? I mean, you've so not to not to give it all away, but. You, been kind of blowing up lately. You've done stuff for the Wizards and the Warriors. What's it like to balance that with teaching? Um, it's kind of cool because I got my Clark Kent moments <laughs> when I'm at work. So it's just me there with the kids. Yeah. I teach photography, so that's cool too because I'm not overwhelming myself with illustration mm. or art in the drawing sense. Um, and with photography, it strengthens my composition. But I think a lot of times when I walk through my school building, most folks don't know that I'm doing the extra things. Mm -hmm. And um, folks, are t uh, they'll treat you a little differently if they don't know about your mm -hmm. so-called special abilities. And um, yeah. yeah. It's pretty interesting because I think you're, it's, it's like the two sides of Rob. Like there's the, the teacher Rob and then like what I know of you as, as the illustrator. When people see right. you online, Robzilla, uh, they obviously are going to see the illustrators and think, oh, they must, he must do it full time. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sure it feels like full time some days, right? Yeah, but it's a cool <laughs> escape. Like, I can jump yeah, from one world this to is the so next. Fun. World. Yeah. And again, just having summers off, you get to focus on potentially new things. I don't know what you're interested in in focusing on next. Like, like what's ah yeah, uh, the next phase? What are you looking for? Yeah, I, I was dropping a couple of hints online, and um. What I'm really fascinated with right now is just animation. I want to make oh. these vectors move mm -hmm. next. And I think that adding that little small dynamic, if, even if it's a little short, subtle movement, but to get them to actually move, because wow. I guess the problem I was trying to solve all along is like, how can I get the stationary images to mm -hmm. appear as though they're moving, but not necessarily moving? Yeah. But now, I want to actually make them move. Yeah. Yeah. You have some exciting things going on. Yeah. Obviously, you mentioned uh, what the, the warriors, mm -hmm. right? So yes. I don't know if you have some things going on around that, or I don't know. You want to talk about some of the your exciting projects? Yeah, I'm kind of curious, like, like what what is that feeling when someone from the wizards or the war warriors calls you up and they're like, Yeah. Hey, Rob. <laughs> hey, Rob. Buddy. You do cool stuff. <laughs> we love your shoes. Wait, sit down on the court side. Take some photos. What's crazy is um, what I what I generally do is I get my wife to reread the, the email just to make sure I'm not hallucinating. <laughs> hallucinating. Yeah, like because you know lack of sleep, you right. start to see things. That is so 
Yeah, so my wife would be like, yeah, this is official. Why do you keep getting me to, 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 to read these? And I'm like, it's hard to believe. Awesome. <laughs> Obviously, you've embraced social media. Like, how has that helped your work? Are you, I guess you're noticing some things stick and some things don't, or? Yeah, um, it's a good testing site. Uh, if I come up with a cool idea and I'm not really sure about pursuing it or not, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do it and throw it right up off on social media and say, hey, mm -hmm. I just did this and... I can tell by the number of likes and everything yeah. if it's a good thing or if it's a bad thing. You put out work like almost no one I've seen. How do you stay inspired? I feel like this is a this is a question you probably get asked a lot, but you know it's hard when you're making all the time. Like, what do you do? What's your well similar to what we did today with the wheel? Um, ideas nowadays come to me from just general conversation. Mm -hmm. um, I think I mentioned something before about killer ice cream. Mm -hmm. And funny story about the killer ice cream was at Adobe Max, they have these little snack breaks. And there was just one guy who just ripped open his ice cream. And mm -hmm. I mean, like consumed was, it, like almost inhaled yeah. the ice cream. And I was <laughs> like, yo, I just went by and tapped the young lady. was like, yo, he's Man, killing the ice cream. <laughs> and she was like, yes, he just <laughs> killed the ice cream. And I was like, killer ice cream. Killer ice cream. Nice. And throughout the whole day, he's just like, it's got a nice ring killer ice cream. Killer. Yeah. So I went to go do my creative talk, and I didn't like the video that I had, the process video. So I took like an hour out to re-record the process video, but I drew ice cream with that the scoops were in the shape of skulls. Mm. Oh, and nice. It was all based on my man killing the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm flipped around, it was killer ice cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think we even started calling that dude every time we saw him, it was like, yo, yo killer ice cream. Kill, what's about yeah, just having fun cream? with it. Like, killer <laughs> that's ice nice, cream you're there. sort of just like taking things out of every day and, and that's what yeah, is yeah. inspiring to you, and, kind, of, kind of the mashups. Yeah, being in the classroom, you see a lot of funny things. Yeah. And it's oh, not just the students, it's also some of my coworkers. Because mm -hmm. some of them, they take the job a little too serious. <laughs> and. Um, so do you have any uh, techniques for people who are interested in, in drawing or any suggestions? I have these rules, there's four of them. And I mean, anyone can follow it with any situation that they're, they're trying to do. But rule number one is, especially when it comes to art, never compare yourself to anybody else. If you get into the habit of comparing yourself and a lot of people got out of art because they compared themselves like around fifth grade um, unless you're doing the same thing that someone else is doing, you shouldn't be comparing yourself to them. So never compare yourself. Art is about expression. It's not about realism mm -hmm. all the time. Um, the second little rule that I like to tell folks is even though it's digital, you shouldn't be transforming the way that you do things just to suit digital. Do it in reverse. Make digital fit into what you're currently doing. I know y'all put a, hard, a lot of hard work into these apps mm -hmm. and everything, but it's a tube of paint at the end of the day, and it's a medium that I'm using. I almost got in the habit of transforming or re, trying to reinvent myself to fit the tool instead of making the tool fit me. Another thing is every time you draw, try something a little different. Like, don't be afraid to try something because now you're dealing with a, a medium where it's non-destructive. You can get to a certain point and then you'll think, hey, this would be a cool idea if I experiment with this. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, duplicate that project. Do your experimentation with it without destroying what you worked so hard on. And last but not least, share that bad boy. Um, unless you're just one of those closet art project quarters. Mm -hmm. I drew this flower. Mm -hmm. None of y'all will get to see it. <laughs> well, I think that speaks to what you were just saying is like, you know, not being too precious with your work. And I think, you know, that's a really, that's a really great tip for people who are just beginning is. Yeah, I got, I got my basic layout done. Um, I'm not quite there yet with where I wanted to take this new version of Killer Ice Cream. And so you're using photos kind of as reference, which... For references, but I don't allow them to dictate. Okay. Like some, yeah. Some people, they have to put every, oh, nah, I got to go back in there. He had a hair right here. And I'm mm -hmm. like, nah, you yeah. have artist rights over that. Mm -hmm. put, you can put a hair on his forehead if you wanted to. Yeah. Like, don't, don't, don't let the, the, the picture restrict exactly yeah. what it yeah. is that you're doing. But I think that's the great part about, you know, working digitally is like you do have that, Sort of, it feels like you're working on 
on paper because you have the pencil and you have the surface, but everything's undo. When you went to the Warriors game, you were, you guys were like taking lots of photos and then you were also drawing as well. Mm -hmm. Drawing, um, what I was mainly doing is observing. Um, I wanted to see how the players interacted with, you, with each other when the camera's not on, when the mm -hmm. crowd's not there. So it, it played a big part in the final composition of what player to put beside each other when it came to the cheer cards. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a very, very special moment. Like, I still can't believe that it happened. Yeah, and so you said cheer cards? Cheer Is cards. Everybody yeah. like, are the fans getting? Yeah, it, will, it should be in the seats for the fans tonight. What? Yeah, oh, so. that's awesome. Isn't that, yeah. isn't that awesome? Like, yeah, so. showing up at a game and everybody has your artwork. Yeah, I mean, artwork. that's like, oh, proud, proud papa. You know? Yeah, like, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> I still can't get over it. It's exciting. So also, so obviously the cards, the fan cards are cool. And then the mural, he's, you were mentioning something yeah, about Yeah, that's it, right. But, oh, yes. Yeah. Ben's Chili Bowl in Washington, Ben's D.C. Chili Bowl. Yeah, the world famous Ben's Chili Bowl. It's a mural of Bradley Beal and John Wall of the Washington Wizards. And I'm a big fan of the Washington Wizards as well. So when I got the call to do that, of course, I was like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Um, quick turnaround. We had about a week. And, oh, my gosh. Yeah. So I did each individual player separately on the iPad and then send it over to Illustrator and combine both together for the final composition. And instead of me having to physically go out and paint the building, we decided to do a heat vinyl application of the vector image. Mm -hmm. that originated on the iPad. That's, That's awesome. So cool. That's so crazy, like from yeah. such a tiny little yeah. thing to a building. Yeah, exactly. An iPad yeah. to... How big is it? Like, I, I, do you have like... It's what, huge. Like... Um, it, it doesn't consume the whole entire wall. I said it, it takes up about either a fourth or a third of it. But it is awesome. It's going to be... Okay. I mean, because you haven't even seen it yet. I've seen pictures. You've seen pictures. And from the but pictures, it's there. awesome because uh -huh. when they apply the vinyl with the heat, it actually wraps itself around each brick that's on oh. the wall. Oh, that's super cool. And I think I want to do more of the vinyl wraps instead of, because I do murals as well. Mm -hmm. I would draw everything out, then go back and redraw everything out. But now that cuts a huge step. Yeah. And I can just go ahead and say, hey, yeah, we can have this applied there. And mm -hmm. in a couple of years, you decide you don't want it. Then, you know, just reapply heat and pull the whole thing wow. down. Mm -hmm. It's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah. Killer Ice Cream Part 2. <laughs> I'm looking for a good wood color. And from there, once I finish the stick there, I am basically done. Nice. But, um, yeah, I think... Um, How are we looking? looking I think it's looking good. I yeah, I think the Killer Ice Cream is kind of getting there. I want to wash the colors out just a little bit more. Okay. And... Um, all I did was just drop the opacity down nice. that, that color layer. Can we check it out? It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Can you take a look? Can we, uh... There it is. You have oh, to go full I'm super on into that. it. I don't know whether I should be inspired or super jealous how awesome it is. I don't know. Is. I just want a popsicle right now. So good. <laughs> I want to go back in and, and rework the wings, but I think, I think it's actually good. This is awesome. I'm digging it. Yeah, it's so, I mean, it's awesome. It really is. I, I don't have any other words. Scratch. I want it on a <laughs> scratch you. and sniff t-shirt. Yeah, now. we want a yeah. scratch and sniff. <laughs> Thank you again. You're so fast, too. Super yeah. impressive. Yeah. This is awesome. Rob Zilla in the house. Going to post it to Instagram. Thank you so much for showing up. Yeah, thank everybody. you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Every week, guys, tune in. We'll have amazing guests like Rob. Thank you so much for watching.